Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would give you a rundown on all the fragrances that I wore this week. I think I'm going to do this little mini segment every Sunday. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of go through if there's anything that stood out or how it made me feel. I will share that with you and let me know if you would enjoy this type of content because uh, you know, if you're not into it, then I don't want to do it. So let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment in the section telling me, yes, I like this or no, I prefer like top tens or whatever. So uh, I thought, yeah, like I said, I think that I want to do this weekly. Uh, so if there's interest, let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. Last Sunday, what I wore was Mongerlan uh, by Guerlain. Now, this fragrance, I've said it a million times, like when I smell this, I think of uh, being in the south of France, walking in a lavender field with some sort of flat basket, flowy gown on, picking lavender, at least smelling it, putting some in my basket, whatever. Kind of get that from this. It's sweet, um, it's classy, it's very feminine, uh, but the lavender in this just is comforting to me. So uh, I put this on for Boxing Day, I was super tired, and to me, like even just smelling it now, I want to put it on. So this is a beautiful fragrance. The longevity is like six, seven hours. You can smell it all day on your skin, but it becomes more of a skin scent at the six hour mark, I'd say. Definitely a gorgeous, classy fragrance. Now my fragrance for Monday was Angel Muse uh, Eau de Parfum by Mugler. Now this one, um, it's very patchouli heavy, so I get mainly a sweet tea vibe from it. Uh, but there's also this cacao in there. A lot of people notice it smells, or a lot of people find that it smells like powdered hazelnut spread or powdered Nutella. Um, so I get some of that hazelnut, but I get a lot of the patchouli and vetiver. Uh, this is a beautiful fragrance, super powerful. Uh, I find it comforting as well. If you put this on, it lasts all day and like I'm talking like 10 plus hours and it is a powerhouse. So Angel Muse by Mugler. On Tuesday, I was trying out a new fragrance and this is Night in Cans by Okcha. Now this fragrance, uh, the quality is there. Like I'm really impressed with the quality in Okcha fragrances, uh, but I'm just not sure I'm into the, the Night in Cans uh, scent. Now this, oh, I got some in my eye. This is an inspired fragrance for Feve Delicieuse by Christian Dior. Um, Feve Delicieuse, uh, what I said this on my Instagram, when I hear the term Feve Delicieuse, it translates taste or er, uh, delicious bean. And when I think of bean, I think of navy beans. And so then when I smell this, all I'm thinking of, honestly, it's so dumb, but I, all I can think of is navy beans. So. I get this beanie quality. I think it's the Tonka bean. I'm not sure I'm down with this one. It's it's good, uh, but I haven't worked it out in my mind yet. <laughs> so I've got to try this one a little bit more. I know lots of people love Feve Delicias. Like it's one of their favorite. It's delectable, delicious. I'm not finding that. So, and apparently I like Nisha, she has both. Uh, Feve Delicieuse and um, Night in Cans and says that this one is like pretty much a hundred percent dupe. So they nailed it as far as the fragrance, but I'm just not sure I like the fragrance. On Wednesday, I wore Floral Street uh, Ylang Ylang Espresso and I loved myself every minute of the day. Like this thing lasts for like 12 hours. Like I smelt myself well, I put it on at nine in the morning and I could still smell it at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, and uh, it was on starting at nine in the morning and at six in the evening, friends came over, walked into the house and went, oh, you smell good. So it was still projecting at that point. So I'm really impressed with the performance of this perfume. Uh, the scent, and, and now that I got a compliment, like I was a little bit nervous to wear this in public because of my mom's response and, it's a little different. I, I'm i gonna wear this everywhere, man. Like, I got a compliment. <laughs> Woohoo! So this one, it just smells so delicious. 
intoxicating, a little bit raunchy. Uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit dirty about it. I love it a lot. Uh, as it dries down, you get a lot more of the gourmand aspect. So tiramisu, whipped cream, kind of coffee, that kind of vibe, vanillic. Uh, so definitely uh, morphs into more of a gourmand uh, near the, like, like in the deep dry down. Uh, but at the beginning, it smells a little bit racy uh, somehow to me. It, it, to some people it smells gross, but I just think it smells just so good. So I uh, wore this, loved every minute of wearing this one. <laughs> the fragrance I wore on Thursday was Gigi by Avatim. Now this fragrance is really special to me because my friend Danny from Deep Green Beauty on Instagram, I'll leave her Instagram channel in the description, uh, she brought this back for me from a trip uh, to Brazil, and it is a Brazilian fragrance. Um, it was created in 2017, and this is, I would say, like quite an amber vanillic fragrance. There's fruits in here. I couldn't find any English translation on the website. So uh, the Fragrantica notes say it has plum fig and pomegranate in the opening. So kind of a fruity opening. It smells more warm fruits than juicy or bright like berries. Doesn't smell like that. Uh, I definitely get that plum or uh, a fig. So that warmer, sweeter fruit. Definitely notice that, but also, almost like you're smelling the skins of the fruit as well. So there's a bit of tannins in there, kind of. And then it has jasmine, orchid, and lily for the floral components. And then the base is cedar, musk, and amber. Uh, what I get out of this primarily is a vanillic amber fragrance. Uh, I thought to myself that it reminded me of La Vie Belle. There is a La Vie Belle kind of vibe to it. So as far as that, kind of more loud, vivacious, flirty, feminine fragrance. That's this. But this actually, in the end, would be more similar to something like um, a Olympia Intense, where you have tons of amber. Uh, that's what you're getting. And even the juice color to me is very similar. So you get a, a very amber-centric, vanillic fragrance with some fruit and the florals are just kind of blended in there. This is a powerhouse. Like if you put this on in the day, you are gonna smell yourself the whole entire day. Um, yeah, longevity, amazing. It smells just feminine and uplifting and sweet and delicious, uh, but it's not too sweet because it's got all that amber in it. So amber vanilla, very, very beautiful fragrance and I'm so excited to have this in my collection. I don't know how to get this. Uh, from Canada. So I don't even know if you can get it, uh, but it is, if you can find it, it's definitely worth checking out. Next fragrance, I'm not going to talk about it too long because I've talked about it a lot, is Jasmine Wisp. This just makes my day. I decided to wear this for New Year's Day or New Year's Eve uh, throughout the whole entire day. I'm wearing it right now. Oh, I just love this fragrance. It's uplifting, it's cheery, it's powerful. Uh, it's just one of my favorites. It's just a happy fragrance. I like being happy. For Saturday, I wore Velvet Va Vanilla by Mansara. Now, again, I told you guys I was gonna wear this New Year's Day. To me, this is just so sweet and delicious. Tuberose, bubblegum tuberose, a little whisper of greenness in here from the Angelica, I think. Uh, and then it dries down to be kind of like a vanilla buttercream icing on my skin. Again, this is a powerhouse. Great for winter. Super solid for winter, honestly. Uh, it's just, it's really awesome. So Velvet Vanilla, it's vivacious and it makes me happy. Absolutely. Uh, my two fragrances for the nighttime uh, were, um, of course, the scent Private Accord for her. Wear that all the time chocolatey, orange, delicious. Uh, yeah, it just smells to me like I'm, I'm dusting myself in cocoa powder and squirting orange all over me. No, <laughs> that's not a nice vibe. Uh, that sounds terrible. But this is actually a really gorgeous fragrance. Uh, super comfort comforting, sweet, delicious. I love the sprayer on this. So like at night when I use this sprayer, like look at that, it's so fantastic. So I just feel like I've, 
you know, it, it's like taking a deep breath to me when I put this one on. The other fragrance I wore a ton during the night, I'm not sure why, was Fleur de Femme by La Rive. Now this is um, an inspired version of Poison Girl by Dior. Um, I just find this one intoxicating. It smells like a boozy, kind of like a boozy, um, slightly cherry almond fragrance. It's sexy. It's sexy, it's deep, it's delicious, fruity, uh, intoxicating, and I enjoyed wearing this to bed a lot this week. And I think I'm going to pull it out and wear it next week, just during the day, because I just for some reason can't get enough of this one. So those are my fragrances for the week. I hope that you enjoyed. What fragrances did you wear this week and which were your favorites? And yeah, maybe maybe instead of doing a full, uh, this is what I wore the whole week, share with you like my top three for the week. Uh, so the ones that I enjoyed wearing the most, maybe that will be where I head with this. Weigh in in the comments if you like. So that is it. Hope you have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.